How's it going guys, Daniel here. We got a chance to go to London to check out Huawei's Mate 20 event. They announced the Mate 20, the Mate 20 Pro, and the Mate 20 X. Not only we saw it on the show floor, but we got to unbox this as well. Now there is a screen protector already applied on the phone. You get your SIM card tool, a clear case, a charging brick, a USB-C cable, and headphones. It comes in two colors, the silver and the blue you are seeing here. It is a 7.2 inch OLED screen, and it is running off their latest chipset, the current 980, with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. Now if you need more, you can always expand it as well. For OS, it is the MUI 9, which is based off of Android P. It does have a triple camera on the back, 40 megapixels for the regular one, a 20 megapixel for wide, and an 8 megapixel for telephoto. For the front facing camera, it is 24 megapixels. And this phone has a big 5000 mAh battery inside this phone. With the updated specs, this thing can handle any daily task. But if you are eyeing on this phone, that isn't your priority. Most likely that will be gaming, media consumption, watching movies and videos. And this phone has enough power to do all of that stuff with a big screen. Now, like I said before, it comes with the screen protector, but it is not the best one. You can see a lot of color shifting. So if you're not a fan of that, buy a new one. Now having all three side by side, it does have the dewdrop drop design like the Mate 20. Now looking at the size difference from the X to the Pro, it is huge. If you have small hands like me, you're gonna have a lot of trouble handling this with one hand. And when the phone starts to get hot while gaming, it does have a vapor chamber and cooling system, which we would like to know how well it can do versus the other phones. Maybe we'll have a comparison in the future. Now on the back of the phones, it does have the hyper optical pattern finish, which prevents less fingerprints and has a better grip. Throughout my experience, it is slightly better, but it still collects dust. You can still see fingerprints, but it's just more smudged. After using a phone for a while, grease and oil will build up and it will eventually get to a point where it's really slippery. So that was my unboxing slash experience with the limited time I've had with this phone. Oh, and Huawei is also releasing a gamepad and a stylus for this phone sold separately. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.